Hey, what's up you guys? It's Paolo. Welcome to Fast Prog. Today, we're going to talk about the AF radio board. This is an essential component for programming your remotes with your automation system. But before you plug in your AF board, there are a few checks to make. Depending on whether your remotes are top or tam, you'll need to set your AF board to match. This is done by positioning the jumper in the correct position. Make sure to check how to set the jumper to top mode and how to set it to tam mode. If your AF radio board is plugged into a control board with a programming display, then the position of the jumper doesn't matter. Whether the jumper is set to top or tam, both types of remotes will be recognized by the radio board. However, if your AF board is plugged into a board without a display and instead has programming switches, then you'll need to make sure the jumper is set correctly to match either top or tam. No matter what, always check the reception frequency of your radio board. This is marked next to the reference number on the board. An AF43S will only work with remotes transmitting on 433.92 MHz. An AF868 will only work with remotes transmitting on 868.35 MHz. When installing the AF board onto your control board, always do it with the power off. Make sure to insert it in the correct direction and into the correct connector, the one labeled AF. Another important note. If you replace the control board on your automation system but want to keep using your old AF radio board, that's possible. However, you'll need to reprogram your remotes to the new control board. The reason is that the remote codes are stored in the control board itself, not in the AF radio board. And that's it. I hope this video helped you get a clearer understanding of how the AF radio board works. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to share them. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest videos. I always adding new content to help you discover the simple world of fast prog. Arrivederci. Alla prossima.